afternoon. Ah, I'm, all my papers have just tipped out. <laughs> yeah. Little teacher is arrested. So my short one today. I've got to go and pick up my son up from the train station. Let me have a look. Hi, Claire. Meeny, miny, moan again. Which papers to use? Ooh, I love that one. Mm -hmm. I want something landscaping. You might be nice. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Well, I was thinking about doing letters. I haven't used it yet, so maybe I will. <coughs> oh, I haven't seen the toy used either. No, didn't know what to do today. Thinking, what can I do that's short and sweet? Be an eeny, meeny, miny, moe. I like the idea of this. But these will have to be made smaller. Just a little bit. I think I might do that. Ah, oh, my papers are fallen yet again. <laughs> Not to worry. My husband just come to check that it wasn't me falling on the floor. No, it was definitely a box of papers. A box of papers. I've dropped a box of papers. <laughs> oh. Oh. I might as well crack on because time is ticking on. Ooh. I'm just putting some gesso on because this is wood. I'm going to the paint soaking in. Oh, and the box is falling again. I give up. I give up. What's the weather like with you, Claire? Oh, he lives away and he's come in to look after the shop for a week. Well, well 10 days while I'm in Florida. Mm, hopefully my husband's going to help him. Thank you very much. Refreshments have arrived. Hey, Nelly. Good morning to you. Yeah. Um, he lives up in Nottingham. So I'm going to go and fetch him from the train station in a couple of hours. I'm going to teach my son and my husband how to do the shop. So I hope people ask him for really obscure things and they gotta go look in. <laughs> Put a load of labels on stuff so they got a rough idea, but you know there's that odd thing that somebody asks for that they might not know where to look. But at least everybody will get their products in a timely fashion. That's what I'm all about. <laughs> yes, you can still spend. Yeah. Oh, it's cold. The sun's out here. 
not that far away. It is excited, Nelly. How many days? Two, three. What's, what are we on? Two days. Two days. But very excited. Although I think my my plane is coming in sooner than yours. But by the time I get through customs, it'll probably about be about the same time. Mm. Hey, Karen. Five days to see Karen. Oh, my gosh. Very exciting. Absolutely, Claire, we are. That's where we, we are heading. Mm -hmm. That's my brush of falling apart. I have had some of these brushes for donkey's years. And as the more I'm doing mixed media, <laughs> oh, less they're uh, lasting. I'll probably just flick my camera. Never mind. Could very well be the reason why I get blurry images sometimes. I should have done this beforehand, but um, well, as we know, casual Sunday is literally no prep, no ideas, wing it. <laughs> More like, um, you know, if we're in a crafty mood and just fancy making something, but we're not sure what. I'm just pulling it all together. Hi, Carol. What are all your plans for today? Who's doing what? I've already just said mine. Picking my son up from the train station and then teaching my son, my husband, how to run the shop. Oh, this is not the most exciting bit of uh, crafting, but very therapeutic. It's a bit like fussy cutting. Hello. Oh, no judging. No judging. It's a Sunday. I just had a mad rush on and then started to label up some things in the shop. I know what's in a, box, a cardboard box, but unfortunately, other people do not. <laughs> Much as I'd want them to, they can't guess. Fill that little hole. Never mind. Well, I think I've got everywhere now. I don't need more than one coat, I don't think.
Oh, I hope it gets better soon, Carol. I don't very often suffer them with them, but I know a lot of people do. Mine are usually um, what they call pressure ones from um, from the bariatric pressure. Am I? Um, no, I'm gassed back, unfortunately. So I'm taking the train tomorrow. I'm going to stay there overnight because my flight leaves at 11 o'clock. And of course, you've got to have your um, your COVID test as well. So I've got my COVID test at 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. At least I'll be tired and be able to sleep on the plane. <laughs> Plan, anyway. Whether or well or not, I don't know, because I, I don't think I've ever slept on a plane. Maybe, you know, dozed. I can't sleep sitting up. Yeah, do, by train and then uh, I guess just changing Reading and there. I've never been by train before. We've either driven down or had somebody to drive us down. So it will be different. Um, the only thing is I've only bought overhead luggage for the trip. And... I need a bigger suitcase, so I'm hoping I can just pay extra to get it on. Hence, me go in very early. Oh, is that Carol? Hi, Sue. Hi, Aga. Hello from Mon Montreal. Wow. What time is it in Montreal? Wow. I don't know where it is on the map, so I can't think. Like, is it on the east or the west? <laughs> Hi, Angela. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Frog about the dogs. They probably loved it. They do like to uh, rush. They don't like to slowly walk, do they, dogs? I'm just going to dry this off. I've only gessoed this tray, so you haven't missed it. anything at all. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know why it does that, but in um, on Facebook, it doesn't show your names. Oh, right, right. So it's only the same as Nelly then. That makes it easier for me. Me and Nelly are on the same time zone. We know we know our stuff. We know our times. <laughs> um, so to get to Gatwick, it's about three hours. And then to get to maybe a half if I include the change. Um, and then in the morning, it from... Gatwick to Orlando, it will be nine and a half hours. So I've downloaded the whole series of Witcher and I'm reading that. So it'll keep me busy. It's, uh, it's a very exciting trip. So we're seeing lots of friends and People we've known over the last two years, that's really, really exciting. I don't know if you, any of you, um, but I know Sue and, and 
few others, were part of um, the Crafty Unite People United group. So there's a lot of us meeting up. Um, so that is super, super exciting. And of course, I'm meeting my uh, my Zuri buddies. Nine a.m. <laughs> coffee, money on my second coffee today, which is not usually me, but we'd run out of milk and I couldn't be bothered to go and get some. I've had it with milk and it's not uh, cream and it's mm, not the same for us in the UK. We prefer milk. Well, most of us do anyway. Oh, you're watching Witcher. Yeah, I've watched it. Um, I wasn't quite sure. It, it did. I, I had a funny feeling the books were going to be better because I know when we wa watched Game of Thrones, things like that, that, um, that the books are far, far better. So, um, I thought, yeah, it'd be very exciting to read books. And the only trouble is then, once you've seen it and then read the book, start reading the books, you see the characters as they are in the film rather than your own imagination. I suppose it's like that with the Harry Potter books as well, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we'll be doing loads of photos. Um, I'll be doing a Zuri video on the 10th on the Zuri uh, Facebook page. Um, whoever's demoing win on that day. Hi, Blanche. Whoever's doing demo in on that day, I will be filming them and um, the stall and whatever. So... Work does not stop just because you're in Florida. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Carol. I haven't thought about that. Although I'm not, not usually very tired when I get there. Coming home is a whole new ball game. Whole, whole new ball game. Let me dry this one off. I know um Yeah, that's too so Bonjour Beatrice. And hello. Shamai in Welsh. Shamai. Right. So, I've already showed off my papers to Claire. <laughs> and I think I'm going with um, this one. Obviously, I'm going to make the squares a little smaller mm. i'm gonna cut it and see anyway issues. <laughs> yeah I, I, I won't go through them all i shall just see where we are with this. and you right on again without my glasses on No, I almost used that. Carol Jones used that instead. <laughs> we were just carrying out just looking. All my papers just fell on the floor. Oh, 
Never mind. They're like behind my chair, so I can't even move. I like the Queen Victoria ones. I haven't used them yet. I'm hoping if I can peel off a bit, get those edges wet. I should be able to get all three in. That's my plan. That's my thinking. Whether it works or not is a different matter. I don't think I need to take much off, but they will go. No, don't do that. No, I'm taking. Hello. For some reason, all my wires have got caught in my wheels. There you go. Sorry if that's probably moved everything now. There you go. Stay still. Am I a bit scared with? There you go. <laughs> Don't forget to click the link because I can't see who, who you are. It just says Facebook user. I'm trying not to be rude. Oh, I could let it run on Facebook as well. Let me see. Where am I live? Refresh. I follow along on the Facebook group as well. I can. I'll be able to. Cindy, hello, Cindy, and Susanna. Hola, Susanna. Right now, I can see people's names. Lamia. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Um, we are in Mad Archers, Mad Archers group, Mad Archers, the page, and also on my um, YouTube channel. Yeah, so it's a little confusing. <laughs> Let me move that out of the way because I want to use a bit of water to just peel these edges. Chile. Who's in Chile? Susanna's in Chile. When I was in Florida in 2018, I met a lady and we we in the UK always say chili, and she went, no, chili. So it's stuck. It is chili. You learn things when you travel. Love it. Hello. Who's from the Netherlands? Cindy's from the Netherlands. Hi, Cindy. Quite a, an international day today. Love it. We learn so much from each other. So, I've had new nails put on yesterday, and I'm not used to them. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm trying not, not to destroy the butterfly. Mm. Thank you. All right, a bit more water. It's going to 
I'm just going to say, can you see what I'm doing? Normally when I use my own nails, I just peel it like that. Oh, that's okay. Okay. I got it. Go, go, go. I'm just giving it a bit of a fluffy ed edge so we hopefully can blend them in when, when we're done. So I'm going to try and finish this by hmm, 2.30 now. I have to leave in an hour. Yeah, so we have two odd ones that one if you can see it's got like a um, mica on it i wasn't fussed i just wanted nude but um the gentleman doing my nails was like oh you like this you like this and i was like no not really i said no glitter <laughs> so he'd only done this one i said okay we'll leave that one and we'll just do the other side just with a little bit something different <laughs> yeah as you know i'm not, I'm not really a glittery type person right. i've noticed sometimes on facebook you can't see who's talking either not just it comes up facebook user for me there should be a little link um that you can use to click and then i can see your names i don't know where it is though a little bit of sparkle we can do a little bit of sparkle i go as far as mica powder and smell it so um Yesterday, I was asked to do some um, live in-person classes in Bridgend. So I'll be starting that um, the second, um, was it the first or the second um, Sunday of every month. So we'll be doing some in-person classes. So that'll be quite exciting, introducing people to um, some more mixed media, because uh, I think they're mainly card makers. So that will be exciting. Oh. Angela doesn't um do you use um like sun lamps to help or I've I've heard that you know some sun lamps help for that. That's what that's what um the the doctor had recommended, and that's what he was doing. Hmm. A little different, but hey ho. And anyway, we're not here to see each other's hands, are we? We here to learn a little. Oh, what did you miss, Claire, about the in-person classes? Yeah, sometimes, um, Carol. Yeah, so I'm doing um, in-person classes in Bridgend. Um, and they also got the Zuri molds in. 
So that's exciting. We've got more plans coming. Although we're waiting for me to come back from from Florida to discuss what's going to happen. So that's in uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Emerald Crafts. So they've got um, some bits of mixed media stuff already there. So that will just be a case of um, turning up. Very cool. Oh, do you know what? Um, I did a live yesterday. It was all black under my nails. Already. Mm, black gesso. I don't know if you missed the, um, the live I did with crafting together with all birds. Oh, I don't know what I've done with it now. I must have taken it downstairs. No, I can't see why. Why did I put it downstairs? I bet that's what fell off and knocked all my papers over there. Anyway, let's do this. So as you can see, I'm just using a bit of water, just plain water to give that feathering edge. And there's very little hard fibres. You will find them now and again. You, know, you can see one there. But it's like very, very rare in these papers. Yes, in the real. No, Angela, it's... Um, um, I think it's... I know it's Emerald something. It might be Emerald City Crafts. She does a lot of different stuff. It's um, we've got a lot of card making there, and um, they do wedding stuff and personalised stuff. Um, I'd have to have a look. I can't, can't remember the exact name of it. It's in, in Bridgend in South Wales. All right. Yes, the black and navy door knocker. Ooh, hello, Iveta. I think you recognise the papers. <laughs> If you don't, shame on you. <laughs> I'm trying to fit them in this uh, little tray, so I might have to cut them down a bit more. Who knows? <gasps> See, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to catch the wing. And I did. Never mind. Oh my gosh. Now what are you going to do with yourself, Yvette? Oh, no worries, Angela. I, am, I, I have been to, to that website as well. I had a look on there. Easy to mistake. Um, so, yeah, that will be different. The last time I did any classes, they were card-making classes here in... Uh, where I live, and then we um, we changed it up a bit. We did it as some uh, an art club, which we enjoyed because we did lots of different things like pyrography, uh, painting. Um, what else did we do? Gosh, I can't remember what else we did. So much drawing. And it was all like fun stuff. But, yeah. 
It's nice to get back out there and do something like that. So Rachel was going to join me today, but I'm all alone today, but I'm okay. Needs be as needs must. Yeah, I think I might need to take a tiny bit more off just to square them up a bit. If you're anything, it's my sister. Can't help it, but she's loud. <laughs> yep, I thought. Can you hear her? <laughs> oh, Claire, well, you'll have to arrange for me to come up to you. You do classes up there. There used to be one in Cumbran, I think. I don't know what happened to it. All right, a little bit more of this one. Don't need much off. Just to square it up a bit. <laughs> no, she works. Um, she's a, a carer. She was a busy bee, and her son is um, still young enough to be wanting to be looked after. You know, although that same age. Maybe not so much now. He's coming up to 15 this year, I think. All right. Can it go? Can it go? Will it go? <laughs> it will. It will. Look. We're in. We're in. There we are. We're in. <coughs> um, I'm kind of sure what colour we're going to blend it in with. Hmm, interesting. So I do have some crackle paint here somewhere. So I'll put a colour on the bottom, some crackle paint on, on the top. Right, I won't tell you better, Claire. <laughs> Wait, is that my white crackle paste? Yes, there is. Some white. And then I'll find some creamy green. That's what I want. Creamy green. Mm. 
Let me see. Think, you know, what colour are you going to do? Creamy green. You've, you've just said that. Yeah, now do it. <laughs> yeah. I do like a bit of crackle. So I'm going to do a darker green in the background. Mm. Mm. Maybe I might add a bit of this to the crackle paste just to tone it down a bit. And then this one is Friends. Right, I'll look straight to you. Not really. I want them lined up more than. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, I'm just going to put some pencil marks here. Hopefully, cover them. There you go. Because of the dark in the inside. And then I'll blend out the lighter colour, I think. Ah, she caught you. She caught you. <laughs> We're not saying anything about mine, are we? Let's not. Oh, what does that feel loose? There you go. It's still a bit wobbly. Oh, yeah, I do like that green. It looks a bit different on the camera, but. Yeah, that will work nicely. So this is going to be the base colour. I'm not sure if I got any one step crack or I might not even use that one. I just might. Oh, I have. I got the stump area. One step. I believe. Yeah, I am definitely a lost cause. I'm so behind and I'm going backwards. See, if I'm lucky, I'll be, be able to persuade my sister to come and fetch my son. <laughs> Who knows? I think I could have done with a bigger brush, but it doesn't matter. Does it? I'm going... On the edges, then. Thank <laughs> you. 
I have. Stop concentrating, Leanne. This is just painting. <laughs> I think it's because it's so therapeutic. Well, I find it therapeutic anyway. Especially if it's just one colour. Anyone else do that? <laughs> Oops. Get in the camera now because I've got a very long brush and very long tray. And we're going to do the inside there dark and then back on the outside later, I think. Might as well just get in there and get it done. Oh, yeah, you don't you you don't really think I get away with it, do you? <laughs> no, I just get ribbed constantly. Is Rachel in the house? Oh my gosh. Maybe I should have had a bigger brush, should I? You know what happens with a bigger brush? It's even longer. You don't do small brushes. Yeah, I, th I think I should have done that. I do have um, a saw, yeah, I should have done it. Especially when, you know, because you like the camera to be there so you can see everything at the same time. There's no, uh, no way of putting the brush up in the air. I don't know how many times I've hit the camera. I'm looking for time. Got my coffee cup in. Nope, ten to three. Not long. I'm not completely finish it and certainly won't get the crackles up in time, but I think we're doing okay. Like I said, this is just the base coat and I can finish the outside later. Just the inside we want to show, isn't it? Well, I said once in a stampery alive, uh, I think Farrell um, was talking about brushes, and I tend to lose all all my brushes. They just, you know, the heads come off. And she thought I was a bit batty. I think they do. They all fall off. And I'm I'm not one for leaving them around in water, so maybe I use them too much. I don't know. It does happen to me. Okay. Just going over where there's little bits of white showing. 
Not that it'll matter much because we'll probably blend it in. Right, let me just dry that a sec. Oh, did you enjoy it? Um, craft heaven, because, oh my God, I would love to have gone. But with it being so close to Florida, I just didn't get around to it. Okay, so I just want to put these in. Let's see, Let's see where I am with it. Do I want to go all the way to the edge with the green? That is a possibility, you know. I quite like it. Yeah, definitely going to go a bit further here, I think. Can't wait to see your makes from that, um, that workshop. Oh, it's a shame. Each to their own. Right. So here we are. Yeah, here we go. Nope, so I could go a bit further in again. Just a little bit more on both sides. Oop, here we go. Cameras are a go. Right. Okay. A little bit of drying on this. There you go. I guess you wasn't disappointed, so that's fine. There you go. I think that's all dry now. Definitely. <laughs> And then maybe bring the, I think, what have I done with that? 
Mm. Ah, I got it. No, that's the map varnish. Looks the same one. I know where it's gone. How bizarre. What are we talking about, Claire? What did I miss? Oh, it's gone again. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just going to put a bit of colour in there. Just two. You don't have to do that one bit. <laughs> But I'm going to do it. I want to blend it in a bit more. Okay. When it crackles, it'll show a bit more. All right, Mod Podge, maybe. I have some Mud Podge. Oh, thanks, Cindy. It is a nice colour. It's like, um, a teal. Oh, these are not good with false nails. Pull it off. <laughs> okay, I'll stab it with a. Oh, I'm not used to Mod Podge. Oh, this is new. to work it too much. I think I should have put the right one in the middle. Never mind. Too late now. Won't work it too much. <laughs> yeah, I did um, I think in 2018 I was still making cards then. And um, I had my nails done and it annoyed me so much that I couldn't peel back the finger lift tape. So I took them all off. Never to be had since. Until now. Yeah, I just didn't, didn't want to be um, demonstrating with a monkey pair of monkey pair Mon monkey fingernails. Hmm. Hoping this one fits. I think I went too far over. We'll soon find out. Lined up. Yes, but that takes too much time, Claire. Finding the pokey tool in the first place. Somebody um said something the other day about um what 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 would your craft room um in a movie title what would it be? And mine is definitely the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, hi, Joan. 
and and that's the trouble i put something down and i lose it and i'm pretty sure i'm in the middle of a bermuda triangle in fact i know i am literally <laughs> there can't be any other reason see i should have i could see that worked well not so well i will dry it off and see No, we're not going to Disney. I'm not. I know. I think um, a few of the others are. But I've been several times, so it doesn't really interest me. I remember going with some friends. Oh, so I'm trying to think. 1992, maybe. And um, my mum had already been and told us what, what to avoid. And Anyway, um, the queues were, because we went in the summer, the queues were horrendous. And um, I was saying to my friends, right, my mum said to avoid this one. My mum said to avoid that one. And there was one particular one that these this couple wanted to go on. And I was like, out of all of them, that is the one one you really do not want to go on. And they were like, no, 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 we're fed up with yearning about your mum and which ones we shouldn't go on, which ones we should go on, etc. So they queued for two and a half hours for Captain Nemo's something or other submarine. And <laughs> oh, my God, there was like plastic fishes hanging from a bit of fishing line. <laughs> They'd queued two and a half hours for it. They were not happy. Not happy at all. Never mind. I shouldn't really laugh at their misfortune, but still. Made me laugh. Okay. I'm just blending that in a bit. Until the white goes. Yeah, so um, we were kind of all new, newly married couples. Um, so this was my first marriage. And... Um, it was strange because we are so used to going to nightclubs and things and not thinking about it. And um, of course, my friends, they I was 23, they were 26. And we had to show that we were over 21. So we're like, well, of course we're over 21. And they said, can you show it? I said, well, we did bring our passports out to a nightclub. What are you, crazy or what? And they wouldn't let us in. The, the bouncers wouldn't let us into a nightclub. So we ended up going and watching a film. <laughs> yeah, we, we tend to um, pay for our own, I think we did. So we were okay. Like you said, it does get awkward. Okay, so blend that in a little bit more. How's that? Right. Come on, the last bit. I just want to 
Blendade in a little more. I don't think this is white, actually. I think it's just um, a bit of the glue, maybe. How's that go? Da, da, da. Well, maybe that is. My sister's regaling about her night of watching um, Gina Washington. Oh, was it, uh, I think he's in his 80s. He was still performing away there. Pretty cool. I've got to do it. I've got to finish the edge off before we go any further. That's going to bother me. It's going to look half finished. Right, can you see any white? Any white there? Nope. Just can't help myself. I'm at the point now when I'm poking my tongue out. Hi, Carranza. It is a lovely teal colour. Um, it's called Feruz. I'm not sure what colour that is in, but it's like kind of teal. Like not quite teal. Anyway, put him, put him the right way up, Leanne. I was going to put the crackle paste on the top, but I don't think I will. I'm going to actually put the translucent one on. How shall I? I've got the two step, I can't find the one step. Oh. So just just to, because I've got to go as soon, just to let you know what's coming up in the next couple of weeks. Obviously, I'm going away um, to Florida for 10 days. The shop is being covered by my son and uh, my husband. And when I come back, hopefully um, we'll have some new products come in so as you know we're uh, quite linked to decoupage queen so um we will be having some pent art in 
that is due to come in Tuesday. So whether I can teach my son how to put it on the website before then, I'll have to wait until I come back. Um, we have some craft and you. Um, we have what are the goodies? Um, I can't remember what are the goodies off the top of my head. I just wanted to get that in there before I forget. Okay. Oh, thank you, Sue. Yeah. Um, right. What am I going to do? Change my mind three times on this. So I'm going to go over with the light sage and then we'll put some crackle on the top, I think. That's my thinking. So I'm not going to be able to show you it finished because um i've got to go and fetch my son in 15 minutes might be able to get away with 20 but not likely <laughs> don't know if i like the light on there yeah so hopefully now i know it's a nice color but when the crackle goes on the top, the dark should come through. That's my plan. So I'm not going to the edges where I did that. That will stay the, the dark. Now I've, I've got to pick him up from Jen Claire. So I haven't, you know, it's only 20 minutes down the road. It's not far. The trouble is now you're gonna to have to wait until I come back <laughs> to watch to see the finished result. I will play with it tonight. Um because I'll be um, starting to get a bit of a nervous wreck waiting for um you know after I've packed my bags and everything and I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs wondering what on earth am I gonna forget? Because I know I will forget something. And then panicking then if I can't find um can't find a passport or can't find whatever. No one is all in a safe place and I don't don't remember where that safe place is. You know how it goes. That's why this is a Bermuda Triangle. And I'm rushing now. Stop brushing, Leanne. Stop brushing. Can't help myself. You can see where it's going anyway. I like the dark green as well, Angela, but I think um, some of it will stay dark green. I might have to top up in bits in places. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted to, you could have left it, you know, leave it dark green and just go over with a, um, with a, like, um, a stampery 
translucent crackle. Which I'm probably going to do anyway, but over this, and then it will crackle, and the like I said, the dark will show underneath. Maybe I'll just do the outside dark. Really. Oh, do you know what? I don't think he knows what walking is. <laughs> and it's a, yeah. I don't think how long it would probably take him and take him a good four hours to walk home. Yeah, I don't think he'd be happy with that. And I got him to get him to look after the shop, so I gotta be nice to it. I'll just blend that in in a bit. I'm not going to be fussy right now. Oh, 20 past 10 minutes. This brush is awful. Sorry. <laughs> it's as if I'm scraping, not painting. It's a bit rough. That's what I said about my brushes. They are awful. And I'm reluctant to throw them out because when you're painting like, um, wood and things, especially if it's a little bit rough still, and you're going to ruin good brushes, so I use brushes like this specifically for these kind of projects where, you know, you don't have to have precision painting. Although I should do it a little bit more with precision. <laughs> it's not that good. There you go. I quite like. I quite like it. No, it's. I did like the green, but yeah, I think so. Right, so now we're going to try and blend it in. I'll try not to be fussy, but at the same time, it's okay to have that little bit of you know, green showing. Now you can see where I'm not quite straight. I think the paper makes it so. <laughs> Thanks. Right, I'm trying not to get too much on my brush. It's more like dry brushing. Here it comes, tongues out. Nothing like watching kids when they do that, when they're concentrating their tongues out. Is awesome.
Right, how am I doing? On that side, maybe a bit more. Um, yeah, but I, you know, I'm a bit like it when I do my cards. I tend not to use straight, straight lines. Some people won't even believe it's a handmade card, you know. There's too many straight lines. I like that. I'm all for a bit of bit of wonkiness or I'm not too fussed. I think you know, if you're too fussy you start restricting yourself when you're doing projects and you're like, oh it's not good enough. Who says it's not good enough? If you like it, it's always good enough. It's different if you don't like it, I'm not saying. <laughs> even I would change it or start using a ruler if I didn't like it. Right, okay, let's get in there. Right. Well, that's where we are at the moment. And like I said, I'll finish her off tonight and take some photographs. Me too, Angela. Oh, thanks. I'll see you soon. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish it off tonight. Take some photos and show you. Thank you very much for everybody for joining me. Hope it give you some inspiration. If no tips and techniques, definitely inspiration. Because <laughs> these papers, um, the Deck Parch Queen papers, they always give me inspiration. It's one of the reasons why I, I kind of wing it sometimes. Thank you, Carol. See you soon. See everybody soon. Thank you. Bye. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Bye.